Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have an L3 Waxy Wonders haul to share with you all. Now, these are two separate RTS or ready to ship hauls that I placed with L3. The first order I only placed based on two cents and I feel like with two cents, it really isn't worth it to film those. But then my second haul, I there was just, you know, I always say this with L3, her site always has a lot of stuff on it, and I was at work, and I was like on my break, and I was like, oh my gosh, L3 restocked. Let's check. I did not have a list. I just went on the site when it loaded, and I added a bunch of goodies to my cart that I wanted to try. Now, I got some buns, some Matrix Melts, some Bitty Betties, one Bougie Bar, and then some Cloud Cakes. So not a huge haul enough to dedicate a video to it and I will say and I've said this before L3 is not my favorite vendor mainly because performance is hit and miss it doesn't store really well and and this isn't a negative a lot of people love this about L3 she pours everything some things I don't necessarily think go well together but she pours your requests which is awesome so it's basically like customs all the time but there's so many vendors that are more harder to get their wax that I always just go with them because I know that L3 is always there. So, but when it is nice to get an L3 haul, for sure, smell some scents. There's some scents that a lot of people have been talking about in this haul that I wanted to try. And I just feel like I want to get my L3 collection down really small. I did a really good job of that. So I want to keep my L3 to one basket. Otherwise, I feel like it just loses its scent. And you've been seeing a lot of hauls lately, I'm sure, of people saying that too. That L3 doesn't last, L3 doesn't last, and I'm not buying wax to not be able to smell it or to not let it have a longer shelf life. Like, I just can't do that. So, with all of those things, let's get into the haul. As always, there is a bag of samples. Now, I believe I put away the samples from my first haul, but that's okay. So you get three samples with L3, and I find that these samples, I can only use them in a bathroom because they're so tiny that they're not really even worth it to me. Yeah, it's awesome to get samples, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying that they're so small, I'd rather get one bigger sample than three really teeny ones, but that's just me and my home, so it all depends. But I give these as gifts a lot too, like throw them in a random act of kindness box or a D-stash. So the first one is Tagalongs, which if you know, Tagalongs are the peanut butter chocolate cookie um, from the Girl Scout cookies. And yeah, I mean, it smells like a peanut butter cookie. It's nothing, nothing special or spectacular, but that's Tagalongs. The next one is Gillette Stadium. So I assume this is like Gillette uh, shaving cream. Hmm. I don't know if it was just in the bag, but I'm getting bakery from this. And I know I'm still a little congested, but I can smell. Believe me, I can smell. Um, yeah, I'm not getting like shaving cream or anything. I'm getting like, like a bakery note. That's interesting. I'm not sure on that. And then the last one is Raspberry Zinger White Elephant Exchange Buttermilk Pie. Now, while this sample, I'm going to pause on the sample because I ordered a Bitty Betty in plain buttermilk pie. This has been, I swear, everybody who knows L3 now is like buttermilk pie, buttermilk pie, buttermilk pie. I know this was a customer creation. Um, yeah, so not really sure who created it, but I do know that this was part of the customer creations. This is vanilla custard, sugar cookie, creme brulee, and pie crust. Now to me, that sounds like super boring, basic, and creamy bakery. And yeah, that's honestly like what it smells like to me too. Like just like a creamy, basic bakery blender, which I know L3 has so many of those, so I'm not really sure what the hype is all about with this. I assume 
because if you look at her site, or it sells out pretty quickly, but I swear they're blending everything with buttermilk pie. So I wanted to smell it on its own to see like, is it really worth the hype? On cold, it just smells like a creamy bakery scent. So who knows what it'll do on warm, but I mean, you name it, L3's blending it, including Raspberry Zinger White Elephant Exchange Buttermilk Pie. Now see, this makes zero sense to me. White Elephant Exchange and Buttermilk Pie. So you already have like a vanilla bakery blender, and then you're mixing it with another vanilla bakery blender and raspberry. It just seems like a lot of blenders, and my wax collection has no room for blenders, like Vanilla Bean Noel, Powdered Donuts, Vanilla Cake, White Cake, Vanilla Bean, like, those to me are just added. Like, it, they're, they're not necessary. Yeah, I, I barely get anything from this. I don't even smell raspberry, really. Like, it's a very, very light, creamy bakery. So, and I, I'm not knocking L3. I mean, a lot of people like those vanilla blender bakery scents. I don't understand them. I don't. Like, just give me right raspberry zinger and call it a day. Like, I don't understand why it needs to be super creamy. And it's almost like when you're adding ice to a drink, it just waters it down. I feel like these scents are the ice of the wax community. It's like, that's like when I go to a restaurant or when I go get a soft drink or a pop, I don't know why I said soft drink, I'm from Pittsburgh. Um, when I get a pop, like I say light ice because I want the pop, I'm paying for the pop, I'm not paying for ice. So sort of the same thing and I know I'm super controversial so let's just add that to the controversial list. Let me know if you guys at the end of the year would like to see all the things that I say in my videos that make people upset. I think that'd be a fun video. All right, next we have one bougie bar. I went to add two to my cart, but it said only one was available, and I really wanted to try the scent. Of everything else, that's a smaller size I got two of, and this is Sugar Shortbread Palo Santo Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Now, to me, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles blended with a lot of things is different because it's a rich bakery, and nine times out of ten, you can smell the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles mixed with everything. Oh yeah, and you smell the pumpkin pecan waffles, it's that rich, ooey gooey, heavy bakery pumpkin pecan waffles, but then you get the smokiness of the Palo Santo, that creamy, rich, delicious, woody Palo Santo. I don't necessarily smell sugar shortbread, but it smells really, really good. I really like this combination, and because I only have one, this won't be enough for my living room, so I'll probably do it in like my bedroom or in this room. We'll see. All right, now, I know this sounds crazy. I ordered five Bitty Betty Loaves of a scent I never tried before because of my friend Natalie. I love Natalie, Melt with Nat and Jack. I'll leave her YouTube down below. Now, the reason why I ordered five of these, if I don't like it, I know where to send it, but if I do, I want to be able to have enough to enjoy, and I thought I would. So this is Snow Fairy Cream Soda Pink Sugar. She's talked so much about this. Snow Fairy, if you're not familiar, is like a bubblegummy scent from Lush. It's really delicious. And then Pink Sugar, that sweet pink bakery, and then cream soda. I had to pause because ooh, if I talk for too long without taking a drink, I like, I can't. I need to like take a drink. All right. Snow Fairy Cream Soda Pink Sugar. I love this, you guys. And if you see this, you have to try it. Obviously, I haven't melted it yet, but just on cold, you pick up Snow Fairy. Like I said, it's like Snow Fairy is originally, Lush had a dusting powder, like an after shower body powder, called Candy Fluff. And Candy Fluff was this super sweet, in the UK they call it like candy floss, it's like cotton candy type of scent. It, to this day, is the best bubblegum cotton candy scent I've ever smelled. I wish more vendors used that instead of cotton candy in their blends, because you can really, really smell it. If you want to smell straight up like that old scent from Lush, from Candles by Victoria, 
pink bubblegum crush. I have candles of it, everything. It is so true to that old lush bubblegum cotton candy, candy fluff scent. That's what Snow Fairy is. I don't necessarily pick up on cream soda like the effervescent creamy bubbly fragrance, but I definitely get pink sugar and Snow Fairy. This is pink. This is girly. This is absolutely delicious, you guys. And I cannot wait to melt this. I'm glad I have five Bitty Betties because I'm sure I'll probably go through two Bitty Betties in my big living room, dining room, kitchen area. But then if I want to melt it in other areas of my home, I have that capability too. And yeah, I'm super excited for those. All right, let's move on to the cloud cake. So like I said, I bought two cloud cakes in each scent, so that way I know I have enough to melt. And the first one is saltwater taffy, serendipity, and cream soda. I've been on a huge serendipity kick lately. I love serendipity. And mixed with cream soda and saltwater taffy just sounded delicious. And right away, I smell serendipity. 100%. You get that rich, delicious cherry coconut, which I cannot believe I'm saying that. Rich cherry fragrance. But you definitely get, like, cherry coconut deliciousness from this. And I really like it. Saltwater taffy and cream soda. Again, I don't really pick up on that. But it's okay. I get the serendipity, which I absolutely love. Next, now I did smell these really quickly whenever I first got the haul. I think I was more excited about this in the heat of the moment than I am. Chocolate Raspberry Cream. I don't know, this just sounded absolutely delicious when I was ordering it online. And then I'm like, why did I order that? Like, I don't know. But I, I do not care for it. The chocolate is not good in this. This is like old chocolate and as far as raspberry cream I get raspberry but it's mm. chocolate raspberry is really good don't get me wrong I love that combination however blended together like this mm. not I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one I might de-stash it I might give it away or I might just use it and then the last of the cloud cakes I got was Peony Blush Suede, Palo Santo, and Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I love Peony and Blush Suede. That is a Joe Malone dupe. And honestly, I've been thinking I might buy that perfume because I love the way that it smells and I haven't had it in so long. It's such a pretty fragrance. And this is really good. I can pick up on the Peony and Blush Suede. It definitely doesn't smell exactly, obviously, because there's really rich, smoky Palo Santo in there. And then the Boardwalk Mallow Clouds just adds, like, this sweetness to it. But it's really, really nice. I really like this. I like that the Peony and Blush Suede, it's definitely, you have to like a powdery floral perfume, in my opinion, to like that. But it's really pretty mixed with the Palo Santo. I think it'll be a great bedroom scent. Okay, right, let's move on to Matrix Melts. I did get six, and I, as you can see, I got two of each. So, I these are very, very thin, you guys. So, I definitely will need to use both of these when I melt a scent. But, these just sounded really, really good. The first one, Cantaloupe Salty Sea Air. I love Salty Sea Air and Cantaloupe. Delicious, right? Yep. And I know I saw um, candles from the Keeping Room. Somebody posted in the Facebook group over the weekend, like, OMG, melting salted cantaloupe. I've never put salt on a melon before and to eat it. But it is definitely a thing I have seen. If you put, like, a little bit of salt on, like, a melon, it, like, brings out the sweetness. I've never tried it, but I hear it's really good. So this makes perfect sense. It almost brings out the sweetness and the juiciness of the cantaloupe, the salty sea air. It's really, really pretty. I think this will be nice when I'm not really sure what to melt that day, but I want something clean and fresh without being laundry. I think that will be the answer. Next, totally different vibe. This is Blackberry Sandalwood Coffee Beam. I've been loving Blackberry lately, and I feel like for someone who loves coffee, I don't have nearly enough coffee in my collection 
So I wanted to try this. And I like it. You definitely get blackberry. It's not blackberry jam butter cookie. It is like a super fruity, juicy blackberry mixed with the coffee bean. Now, sandalwood, to me, just makes this a little bit more rich. I don't necessarily feel like it is um, super perfumey. I think the sandalwood in here just makes it a little bit more rich, decadent coffee. I really like this. I think this will be a great morning melt, and the colors on this one are fabulous. Super fun. And then the last of the Matrix melts I got is Fresh Cut Roses Vanilla -ry. And Vanilla -ry also is a lush perfume. It is a very, I don't want to say powdery, like, like floral powdery. Vanilla -ry is more bath bomb vanilla. Like the real dusty vanilla. Which, not all dusty, but Yep, I, I totally get that in here. Mixed with the fresh cut roses. Really, really pretty. I think this will be great for spring. But yeah, I really enjoy this. I like that the vanilla -y definitely plays a part in this without just being fresh cut roses that make it creamy. Like vanilla -y is there. And if you've smelled vanilla -y on its own, you know that note I'm talking about. Like that like bath bomb dustiness mixed with a really creamy vanilla. It's, mm, it's really really fabulous. I, I like that one a lot. All right, last but not least, I have uh, some two-pack of buns. First up, super sweet and to the point Satsuma. Plain Satsuma. I love Satsuma, and I don't have any in my collection, like, on its own. Oh, it's so good. This is the scent from the body shop where it's, like, a really dense orange scent. I feel like it's, like, heavy, I don't think heavy, like, gross heavy. It's definitely, like, very full of juice orange. It's so pretty. Uh, I love Satsuma. And blended with things make it even better. So Satsuma, really, really enjoy that one. Highlight of the order. Fresh cut grass, fresh picked strawberries, and rainstorm. I have a scent from... Super Tarts. I already melted it. I know Carson, if you're watching, you did not care for it. I forget what it was called. It was fresh cut grass and strawberries. So I saw this. To be honest, I don't think I noticed that it said rainstorm on the website, but I'm not mad about it because when I opened this, oh my god. I think even though fresh picked strawberries is not a super authentic strawberry fragrance, Mixed with the fresh cut grass and the rainstorm almost makes it that way. And I say that because you figure a strawberry patch in a field and then you have the rainstorm. So you have that like ozonic, like watery notes, which obviously once you freshly like you wash the strawberries or like you're watering the garden, it has like that wateriness to it with the fresh cut grass. This is perfection. Two cents. Full of interruptions today. But anyway, yes. Fresh picked strawberries, fresh cut grass, rainstorm. Get your hands on it. It's fabulous. Next, blue sugar. Today is October 3rd. I'm really having a blue sugar moment lately. I don't, I just love blue sugar. It's Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Mallow, which is today's October 3rd, mixed with blue sugar. So nice, you guys. Uh because you get the smokiness and the rich, toasty marshmallow from the palace from the uh, today's October third, but mixed with the rich, sugary, a little cologne sweetness from the blue sugar. Oh, fantastic! Love, love, love that one. And then last but not least for this little haul, bergamot driftwood wood sage and sea salt. I thought this would be perfect for the bathroom or the bedroom. Wood sage and sea salt is also um, a Joe Malone perfume. And then bergamot driftwood, just like citrusy, watery, aquatic. It's really nice. I really like it. Bergamot, I don't get super strong in here. Maybe because I'm like used to the Satsuma like today because it's super citrusy. But the bergamot and the driftwood, the woodiness, the ozonic, oceanic, oceanic, oceanic fragrance mixed with the wood sage and sea salt. Mm, really, really nice. And that's what I think I want to do from now on. Like, when I do order from L3, really think about what I'm ordering. And like I said, keeping a small basket of stuff. Because once you get so much, it, it kind of gets overwhelming. But 
Thank you all so much for watching my L3 haul today. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. You matter, it's the last week of Pride Week and the world has been super crazy lately, but everybody needs to just love everyone and accept everyone for who they are. Today is a great day, it's gonna be a great week. I love you all so much, you matter. Goodbye guys.